What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl kitchen and to my channel, How to Cook. And today we are making a Jamaican rum and raisin ice cream, yeah? In the kitchen, fast, easy and simple. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notification so you will always be reminded whenever I upload a brand new video. And for all of my returning goodies, on a don't know say, on a girl loving it to the max. Let's cook. Okay, my fabulous love bug goodies. On a ready for cut up this rum and raisin ice cream. Make with the thing then now. All right, let's talk about a raisin. The raisin is one cup, and I did add um, uh, half a cup of the Jamaican white rum. Now, this is a raisin that I use, and I did purchase this raisin in Aldi's. And again, I only use one cup. You definitely want to go ahead and have a half cup of rum. The Ray and Neville white rum is what I use. But, of course, if you don't have this Ray and Neville white rum, you can always substitute another rum of your liking, all right? But the traditional way back in Jamaica is what they use, is the Jamaican Ray and Neville white rum. Now, you want to let it soak. I did let it soak for 24 hours. I'm going to add one condensed milk, and you definitely need heavy whipping cream. I'm making two jars of the ice cream because husband's favorite ice cream is rum and raisin. So, I did purchase that in Aldi's, and I'm, I'm going to use two boxes, and that total four cups of heavy whipping cream, four cups. Now, you're going to need cinnamon powder, vanilla, uh, butter extract right there. And you're definitely going to, um, don't add any more rum. If you want to add rum, you go ahead and add that, right? We want to make sure some cover that. And I did use rose water in it, the Jamaican brand. And this is the Ocherius, right? So it's going to give it a nice, really unique flavor to your ice cream, to your Jamaican rum and raisin ice cream. Now, let's go. Now, in the container here is your raisins and your rum combination. And again, once you put the half cup of rum into the cup of raisins, and you're going to let it stay for at least a good 24 hours like a day, it's going to soak up and it's going to look just like this, all right? If you don't want to go a whole 24 hours like I did, 12 hours is fine, but you want to allow the rum to soak into the raisins. Go ahead and pour it into a container, separate from your other container where you are going to use, right? Now, in this container here, you're going to add one can of your condensed milk of choice. Now, a lot of people use organic condensed milk. Yes, you can also use whatever brand or whatever it is that you feel more comfortable to use, but you cannot skip the condensed milk process. I wouldn't recommend you skip that. Now, the next thing you want to do is get your cinnamon powder. You're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, right? Then you want to add one teaspoon of the vanilla, all right? Go ahead and add that. And then you're going to add one teaspoon of the rose water, okay? And to that, you're going to add um, a half teaspoon of the butter um, extract. Okay, so use that. Half a teaspoon only because it is pretty strong. So you go ahead and combine all of those ingredients in the mix. All right, and make sure so you mix it nice and smooth. Just combine it. Just combine everything well is what I'm trying to say here. It is going to look something like this. Nice, creamy, smooth, and it smells really, really nice. All right, goody. Now, if you're still here watching me this far, be sure that you have a subscribe to the channel and thumbs up the video, all right? Make sure you say that because it's going to help the channel to grow and we are wanna grow here, y'all. Now, moving right along, in another container, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and add those two um, boxes, which total four cups of heavy whipping cream, right? You go ahead and add it in there. Then, after you add those four cups of the heavy whipping cream, all you have to do here is this. Simple, right? 
you get your hand mixer and you start to mix just you want to mix it and you want to mix really really well this process for me took about 15 minutes because I wanted my whip to be really 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 creamy okay so I did allow it to whip for 15 minutes now for me the more you do this process is the better your ice cream is going to hold it's going to have a nice little texture and it's going to have a, a really little good flavor flavor and texture yeah it all, it all does something miraculous to the to the ice cream as you can see that was about 10 minutes 10 minutes in right if you need to rest your hand you go ahead and rest your hand but you want to make sure that it becomes nice and fluffy until it it basically coming over into your container that is when you know you have the most perfect that is when you know you're going to have the most perfect ice cream in your kitchen right now just go ahead and just take everything from the sides and just bring it on into the middle as you could see here it is coming along perfectly perfectly this is all I want it to be perfect right perfect Jamaican Roman raisin ice cream in your kitchen every time straight I went back in for the next additional five minutes and as you could see it is getting fluffier and fluffier with every minute all right every minute better and better and better yes goody turn up mm-hmm see we so all right this is what i talk about though perfect nice and fluffy and perfect perfection at its finest as some of us say my grandma and raisin ice cream i got turn up really really loud when i have the thing looking like this like a ball type of thing mm -hmm. see me so good eh? perfection mm -hmm. perfect all right now this is where you go on the right now that you think nice and fluffy and just the way you want it to be like buffy mm -hmm, you go ahead and you only put half of your mixture in first right so you're going to put half in and after you put the first half in you're going to combine that half in into the container with your nice fluffy goodness right there so and you're not going to mix it all up like you mix up pudding to get it in the oven you're going to fold it nice and slow because if you mix mix it up it will fall flat and your ice cream I got taste like snowflakes all right and you don't want that so go ahead and just fold it in nice and then you good up good up something right mm-hmm yep just like that now after I say about a good 60 seconds of folding just like that you're going to go back in again and you're going to add the remainder of your mixture in the middle just like me at the right I saw mm-hmm perfect and then you go back again and you start folding again all right nice and slow fold it in nice and slow you see how that look fluffy you see what I'm about if if you do not um get this thing all blended up properly with your hand mixer it is going to fall flat once you put the second the liquid mixture in there it's going to fall flat and it's going to look like milkshake you don't want to do it make it look like milkshake you're not making milkshake here you're making the most perfect jamaican rum and raisin ice cream in your kitchen every time it's a good it was straight all right so now after you get that all set and all done and it properly look good you're going to get your container right and you're going to just go ahead and pour it in your container and again i'm making two containers all right this is going to get me two cases of ice cream right mm-hmm perfect so i went ahead and i did that and what you want to do is put it in your refrigerator and i did let it sit for about a good maybe like 24 hours one day because yeah let me make sure so husband not touch it so 24 hours 
Ain't nobody gonna touch this bad boy in the freezer. I make it come together real, real nice and proper, okay? And just let it sit. Just forget it's there and just allow it to freeze. Now, you can eat it after eight hours, but 24 hours to me, it's good. Mm-hmm. Two cases of ice cream. Yeah, freeze, I would say. Now, after that time has passed, you open it up. That is what you have. The most perfect, fluffiest, goodest kind of a Jamaican rum and raisin ice cream all the time, right? Believe me, in Atlanta here, if you do see rum and raisin ice cream, for this amount, you better have at least $15. It's so expensive. Very expensive. Not in my kitchen. We are cook everything in there, so. Alright. You see what I'm talking about? You see how that come out? Nice and creamy and smooth and look good. Mm-hmm. And full of nothing but flavor. Everything. Flavor, yeah. In the container there. Mm-hmm. This ice cream here, goody, is... Uh, one of them kind of ice cream there where you don't want to share with nobody. You know what I mean? I say? Mm hmm Now, you know you have to give this recipe a try. You are going to love it. You are going to love, 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 love this recipe. You have to try this ice cream, honey. Now, don't forget to share this good love with all your friends, all right? But don't also forget to give the video a thumbs up as well because it's going to help this channel and the recipe to grow all right and again goody please check your notification settings because a lot of y'all is not getting my notifications when i do post videos so be sure that your notification is on so you will know when your girl upload these goodness all right these fabulous goodness now you know my office showing old ice cream look right close up like so yummy and fill with your maliciousness all right look at that that is some real good ice cream there all right guys that's it for now um i hope you did enjoy this video um mad mad love now remember tell me what you would like to have me cooking next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy